Today we're adding yet another fake character to our figure collection. This character being Madame Helena Blavatsky, otherwise known as Lolly Granny. Helena was one of my most important characters on my team when I was starting out my Fate Grand Order journey. She offered really good team support as well as really good Noble Phantasm damage uh, while progressing throughout the game. So hearing that Amikuni created a figure of Helena was very exciting news. So I knew at some point I had to pick her up for myself. Helena's sculpt is very amazing to look at. Amikuni really didn't miss on this one. Her shading on her hair looks fantastic. The eye, detail, the eye details are on point. The mouth sculpt is fantastic. The Kabbalah that's on the chest of her blouse on the back of her hat, which contains the Ankh, the Star of David, and the Ouroboros, all very important to, <laughs> well, the Ouroboros is very important to alchemy, but the whole thing about um, Theosogy, the occult practice that she was a founder of, try to combine all these religious teachings to find out more about the higher powers, or the Mahatmas. Um, in this case, the Mahatmas are aliens. But that's besides the point. Helena has is from head to toe, there are just so many details. She is pretty much one-to-one -to, -one to her um, character art for her third ascension in the games. She they even went as far as making sure that the book that she uses to cast incantations actually does have text in it. Uh, it's kind of hard to capture it on camera, but it is filled with a bunch of text that I think is Sanskrit, but I'm not completely sure. I, I, I don't really know what the characters in her book says, but you could read it. She's joined by a doll of Colonel Olcott a very important individual who was her right-hand man when she started her occult business. Now, you probably noticed this first when I am showcasing this figure, and her base is her noble phantasm, Sanat Kurama. And <laughs> I honestly know just as much as y'all like what this actually means um, it's it's still very nice that she has pretty much one aspect that's really important to her core character as the base uh, it's it's pretty much what made me want to really seal the deal on getting this figure was just how ridiculous her base is and so she also has a removable hat, which is stuck on with a magnet. She does come with an extra head, um, head and that's her non-winking face, just her uh, standard smiling face. But removing her head's really hard, especially because her hand is blocking her head from coming off smoothly. So you have to slightly pull her hand away and kind of just force her head out, which was unfortunate because forcing her head out kind of um, left a paint transfer on the bottom of her neck. Now it's not terrible because her collar that she wears hides the bottom of her neck very well so you wouldn't even notice it. But it's just the fact that I'm so worried about damaging the figure if I attempt to change her head. And this would be damaging the figure for a head that is objectively not as good as her winking face. And my final gripe, it's less of a gripe now that I see them in person, but I was hesitant on buying 
this figure simply because she had support poles. Uh, in her prototype photos, her support poles were more of a gold color, which I thought was really distracting uh, from her complete figure, so I was kind of hesitant on purchasing her. But after finding some more pictures of her online, I learned that the support poles were actually clear, which were a little a little better than the than what I thought they were going to be. Now, this is not actually how I'm going to be displaying Helena in my collection. I just feel like this UFO, even as avant-garde it is, it just takes up way too much space, both horizontally and vertically. So. I'm actually going to downsize this and use the other base that she came with because I, I believe the Amikuni manufacturers knew this was going to happen because the UFO is a limited edition exclusive you kind of had to buy the limited edition version to get the UFO but I guess they realized that not everyone would appreciate the size of this base. So yes, we got a normal size base. It does explicitly say her name on the base, and if you've seen any of my other videos, that is one of my pet peeves. But I actually do like this base. It's simple, right to the point, but still has a little bit of complexity with the summoning circles and stuff. So it's not bad. It's probably one of the least offensive bases that has character names on it that I've seen so far. There we go. Much more manageable. Now of course this base is really cool, but I feel like it's just not that shelf friendly unless you have dedicated shelf space for just Helena Blavatsky. As much of a, as, and as much as I love Helena Blavatsky, I also love a lot of other figures that are coming in, so I'm going to have to be very mindful of my figure space. And with that, thank you very much for joining me on this figure review. I'll be uploading a lot more videos to Taker's Keep, so stay tuned. If you liked what you saw, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya!